Hey everyone, it's Michael. Tonight I wanted to show you a wedding photo folio that I have recently completed for Hui's sister's wedding. Um, Anna and Roberto got married a couple months ago and my present to them is this photo folio. They, she did not want a full mini album. She wanted a folio. She liked the soft kind of cover and the thinness to the folio and just no bells and whistles, no flowers, no embellishments. She doesn't even like um, pink or little flowers. So I had to be very careful with the paper I used. Um, the photo folio, it's a trifold. Uh, it measures eight and a half inches across, 11 inches tall, and it's a half inch wide. Um, I'm a little concerned about the half inch. I think after putting this all together, I should have made it a little bit thicker, but we'll see what happens once I put the papers, uh, the photos in here. Anyway, I used three paper pads from Echo Park. I used Just Married, Wedding Bliss, and Wedding Day. Um, I used them in digital format. There's a website called Snap Click Supply, which I am pretty sure is run by Echo Park. All of the Echo Park and Cartabella paper pads can be gotten there um, in digital format along with a host of other um, paper pads. It's being so far um, from the States, it's, it's very time consuming and expensive to get paper shipped over here. So the digital format for me works perfectly. Um, let me take you into this. So like I said, it's a trifold. Uh, it opens up like this. I'm sorry, I can't get more of this into the frame. Um, the The right side is a waterfall component for four by six photos. I believe there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen photos can be put down here. And on the reverse side, instead of putting um, decorative paper here. I left it this kind of peachy color. Um, it's a, it's a, one of the papers from the kits um, so that she can either put a photo here or journal here or put a Polaroid or some Instax photos. I'm sure a lot of people at the wedding took photos on their cell phones and she can print them and put them in here if she wants to. Um, and this is held down with a, a magnet here. On the right side, on the left side, um, there's space here for two four by six photos or a large five by seven, um, even five by seven and some journaling if she wants to. Um, when you open it up, there's room over here uh, for a couple of photos, two five by a two four by six or a five by seven. Um, I used here on the bottom. Uh, some of the border dies here. I use the wedding rings up here. Um, on this flip out here, I have two photos that flip out like this. Um, this is not four by six. I think this is a three by five. Um, so these flip out like that. And then here's space for, again, two photos or one large photo. When you open it up, there's space here for two photos. And on the inside cover, there's also space for two photos or a large photo. Closing this up, we move into the center. And this paper here, these butterflies, was actually a paper pad by Colorbach that I got at Walmart probably 15 or 20 years ago, and I still had it in my stash. I have a problem getting rid of paper, using paper. Um, so I use this for the cover. I think I'm gonna do, I don't wanna cover this whole thing, so I'm not gonna do a large photo here. I think I'm gonna do some smaller photos or maybe some ephemera. When you open this up, there's a spot here for um, some photos. And then you open it this way and you have here the inside cover. I'm gonna put a large photo here. And then you have on the inside 
over here. There's room for some photos. And then in the center, I did again these two flip outs for photos here. And then I'm going to put a large photo of the bride and groom here. And that's it. Um, I, I love these papers. They all went really nicely together. Um, photos here too. Forgot to mention that. Um, the back of the album, I, I like to keep the back of all of my albums, mini albums or photo folios, some kind of dark pattern paper because no one's going to put anything here and it's going to sit on the table or someplace and it's, it's just going to, it's going to get dirty. So I like to keep this as dark as possible. Anyway, I would love to hear what you guys think of this. I'm really enjoying making these photo folios, but I have to get back to making some mini albums too. Um, please remember to subscribe and click that bell if you would like to be notified when I have another video out. And I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on this. Let me know what you think if you'd like to see this as a tutorial, some videos, and maybe a, a PDF that you can download. Anyway, thank you so much again for stopping by the, the channel. Uh, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.